This is me, Rodolphe. I'm a French filmmaker and photographer. And this is my brother, Baptiste. We like to go on adventures together to discover new beautiful places and I usually make videos about them. Today, we're embarking on the Forest Mazda Discovers road trip, a series where we drive through Europe to meet artisans who tell us all about their craft, their skills and their artistic journey. Mazda's philosophy itself is deeply inspired by Japanese craftsmanship. We have been invited on a journey from Versailles to Zurich in a Mazda CX-30 to meet Eric Blum from the Ongahewa studio. He designs and creates custom-made hats and he will tell us all about his passion and his craft, which he's been perfecting for years. I mean, I started the hat making journey probably around 10 years ago. It's very rewarding working with your hands, holding a, a, like a product in the end. Uh, I mean, I think with every hat that I produce, um, the hours that I've spent learning and, and just mastering the craft and getting better at it just always comes with me and just gives me a really deep satisfaction. In the end, it's, it's about uh, sharing the experience. When a customer gets their custom hat and they put it on and it transforms their look, that to me is, is probably also one of the biggest joys in the, of the craft. In the hat making part, we mostly use beaver felt. It's always been the premium material in hat quality. And then I like to, I like to blend, blend the old and the new, even though, I mean, beaver felt itself has a, has a long history of, of, of kind of like the old. I really like using um, vintage Japanese fabrics, um, a lot of um, natural dyed indigo, which are sourced in Japan from an antique dealer and um, probably everybody knows the human face itself is the most individual part of our body. I mean, there's, there's, uh, everybody looks different, everybody has a different head shape, uh, head size, so, um, so why should a hat be standard, standardized? So my grandfather's name is the actual brand name, Onkaheva. I, uh, yeah, I have a deep rooted connection to the country and the culture, definitely. And um, for me, um, as a craftsman, there is no country um, who has a richer culture and craftsmanship than, than there is in Japan. And my grandfather also was um, was a man who crafted a lot of things. Like he was doing pottery, he was painting. He never made it made it his business. But I just remember being uh, being in Japan and being in his house. You could see all those tools laying around or paintings or like brushes and and uh, yeah so I got I got that probably the memory and the touch definitely um, a lot from him too and and, and for me it was um, yeah it was a beautiful cycle to close and pay homage to to that man. And just like that, we were back on the road. It was really inspiring to meet Eric and learn about his craft. His journey was absolutely incredible. Driving through the Swiss landscapes from lakes to valleys, surrounded by the beautiful mountains. Oh man, that was a trip to remember. We're now heading back home, bringing back with us memories that will last for the rest of our lives. <laughs> 